All right, let's try and solve this quadratic equation. It's quadratic because it has this x squared term, minus x minus 6. I know it's a quadratic. In an equation, e equals 0, I can solve it by factoring. And what I'm looking for is first what multiplies to the coefficient of the x squared term times the c term. When there's no number here, it's understood in front of the x squared that we have a 1. So you just go 1 times negative 6. That's negative 6. So what multiplies to a times c, that's negative 6, and adds to the coefficient of x? In this case, since there's no number but there's a negative, it's understood that the coefficient is negative 1. So we want to think about what multiplies to negative 6 but adds to negative 1. Well, there's really only two things that can multiply to 6. It's either 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. But since the multiplication has to come out to be negative, I need to make one of these negative. If they were both negative, the answer would be positive, but it isn't. It's negative. So what multiplies to negative 6? One of these pairs where one of the numbers is negative. So I could try making the 6 negative and the 3 negative, say, try each of those. 1 times negative 6 is negative 6, but 1 plus negative 6 doesn't work. doesn't give us negative 1. It gives us negative 5. However, 2 times negative 3 gives negative 6, and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Yeah, I said that. But 2 plus negative 3 adds to negative 1. So I'm good. I've got these numbers. All right. That tells me this 2 and this negative 3, I can do this little trick. I don't have to do the long way. There are longer versions of this method. But when you solve this way, when I factored, found the two numbers that work, 2 and negative 3, I can rewrite this as a factored form, x positive 2 or plus 2, and x negative 3 or x minus 3 equals 0. I know that these things, these two brackets, these two binomials, when multiplied will give me this. I also know now that each of these brackets is a possible solution. x plus 2 equals 0, or, I had a little or there, x minus 3 equals 0. And now to solve that, that's easy. I just take away two both sides here to get x by itself. So x is either minus 2, and x is either minus 2, or it's 3. I got that by adding 3 both sides. I can check my answer by subbing in. What happens when I do negative 2 squared minus negative 2 minus 6? Well, I get negative 2 squared is 4, minus minus 2, that's plus 2, take away 6, and I get 0, so that checks out. What about x equals 3? I should probably put a box around them so I can find them easy again. What about x equals 3? All right, 3 squared minus 3 minus 6, which gives me 9 squared. Oh, I'm sorry, 3 squared is not 9 squared, it's just 9. Minus 3 minus 6, and 9 minus 3 minus 6 is 0. So I know I'm right, that is, I found the answers negative 2 and 3 that make this quadratic equation 0. I'm done.